is about two Nigerian men who were arrested in India for fraud. Now, um, 29-year-old Rawlings and 28-year-old Theophil were arrested in Delhi, India for fraud, for cyber criminality. So basically what they were doing is that they were frauding women on Instagram. So they had created over 73 Instagram pages and, you know, they were uploading fine pictures of this fine man, you know, who was not real. They called him Alex. And they were, you know, sending friend requests to women. And then when the women, you know, following the women, and when the women followed them back, they entered their DMs and they started chatting with the women. Now, since the pictures were fine, or the pictures that they uploaded of this Alex was a fine picture, most of the women fell, you know. So basically reach out to the woman and they start chatting you all. Before you know it, they start telling you, oh, you know what? Um, I'm single and my, my wife just passed. You know, I'm looking for a relationship and stuff like that. So many vulnerable women fell for their tricks. And after falling for them, they'll start an online relationship with you. And then before you know it, they start asking for gifts, asking you for money. Okay, if you want to see me, I can fly over. I just send money for tickets. And some of these women actually fell and sent the money, but they never ever got to meet them. So they were carrying out this fraud in India, doing this on vulnerable Indian women. And they have been caught. So they're currently behind bars awaiting judgment in India. So this is another set of bad eggs, as I like to call them, spoiling the name of, you know, hardworking Nigerians and other Africans. Because when these kinds of things happen, people will now generalize it and be like, you know what, yeah, Nigerians, that's what they do. Africans, you guys, all you do is internet scam. Meanwhile, of course, there's a group of people who genuinely work hard, even on the internet. But these kinds of bad eggs who always want to stain their, their good image with such bad acts, frauding vulnerable women and stuff like that. We always advise that on social media, if you're talking with somebody on social media, before you send people money, you should try to verify, you know, try to verify who you're talking to. Make sure you're talking to somebody who is a real person because many women fall for these things. And we just hope that, you know, when they, as they keep getting caught, the, 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 the rates of cyber criminality is going to reduce. Unfortunately, with the, as social media is becoming more and more popular, so I'm afraid that it might not reduce as we hope it does. But we just hope that people are more aware so that they don't fall for these kinds of scams. So let me know what you think in the comment section, and you'll see me next time for another fresh news story from this part of the world.